little red tractor was standing in the yard waiting for Stan to load his trailer. They were getting ready to go to Wrigglesworth Market. It was a windy day. The golden leaves were swirling around. Patch rushed about trying to catch them. Come on, hurry up. Winter's coming and there's a lot to do. The wind seemed to say as it tugged at Stan's old jacket. Soon, Little Red Tractor was chugging down the drive. In the trailer was a bundle of fencing posts, which Stan had cut from an overgrown hedge. Twelve young hens that were ready to start laying eggs, and four sacks of brown potatoes. It was not a very heavy load for Little Red Tractor, and his wheels hummed a tune. At Walter's garage, they could see Walter's legs sticking out from under a car. Little Red Tractor hooted as they sped by. Soon, they arrived at market. Stan carried everything from his trailer to the auction. Patch trotted at his heels, her eyes wide with excitement. She even rounded up six fat geese that had wandered away from their owner. But she knew it was time to guard Little Red Tractor when Stan said, Now, Parch, hop into the cab and stay for a minute. I'm just going to have a look around. Stan wandered round the stall, saying hello to people, and some animals too. In one corner of the market, there stood some old stables. And as Stan walked towards them, he saw a large horse looking at him. Stan rubbed its grey forehead, the owner explained that the horse's name was Jeremy. It's a pity, said the man, but I've got to sell him. I just can't afford to keep him now that he's got too old for heavy work. Stan began to walk back to Little Red Tractor. Jeremy's sad eyes watched him. Please take me home with you, he seemed to say. I've got too many animals already. But he did look sad, he said out loud. And all of a sudden, Stan knew what he had to do. He turned round and walked back to the stable. Stan made a deal with the man and bought Jeremy. Little Red Tractor headed happily for home. Behind him, tied to the empty trailer, was Jeremy clip-clopping. Walter was standing beside his petrol pump as they passed the garage. He waved. At Beach Farm, Mr. Jones was leaning over his gate. That's a good-looking horse you got there, Stan, he shouted. Little Red Tractor tooted. Jeremy held his head up high. Jeremy came to live at Rosling Farm. He spent his days in the large meadow with the sheep. At night, he slept in a warm stable. But Stan noticed that the friendly old horse still seemed sad. He was not really enjoying himself. One night, Stan was woken by a violent storm. Rain lashed at the door. Wind roared down from the hills and rattled all the windows. Little Red Tractor thought his barn was blowing down. Next morning, Stan looked out of his bedroom window. Everything was in a dreadful mess. Tiles had blown off the roof. Little Red Tractor's barn door was hanging on one hinge. There were deep puddles all over the yard. After putting Jeremy in his field, Stan began to sort things out. First, he phoned the builder about the broken tires. Then he drove off in Little Red Tractor to take some dry hay to the sheep.
as the little red tractor chugged along, Stan could see that Jeremy and all the sheep were standing at the top of the meadow. They were all staring towards the bottom of the field. Oh dear, said Stan. The gale has blown down the old oak tree. The tree had fallen across the little brook that ran down to the main river. The trunk was so thick that it was blocking the stream and the water was flooding the field. Whatever can we do, little red tractor? We'll have to move the tree, but I don't think your wheels will grip in the soft mud. Just then, Jeremy began to whinny and neigh. He stamped one of his enormous feet in the wet grass. Horse cried Stan. Jeremy, this is a job for you. Take long for Stan and Little Red Tractor to fetch Jeremy's harness and some ropes. Soon, ready to start. Feeling very proud of himself, Jeremy lowered his long neck and began to pull. Come on, Jeremy! shouted Stan. Pull! Pull! Little Red Tractor tooted. Hatch barked with excitement. Jeremy heaved with all his might and slowly, ever so slowly, the great oak tree began to slide out and the water started to drain back into the brook. Well done, Jeremy, shouted Stan. You've done it. Stan got to work sawing up all the branches from the tree, and soon Little Red Tractor's trailer was piled high with logs. Come on, Little Red Tractor, said Stan. It's your turn now. Home we go. After that, Stan always made sure that Jeremy was given one or two jobs to do to keep him happy. Thanks to Jeremy and Little Red Tractor, there were plenty of logs for warm fires that winter on Gosling Farm.